this is the uh, whole stack Falcon, Falcon 9 and Dragon on top. This is Dragon naked and dressed. This is really fast. <laughs> this is the, uh, the acoustic test. Here's the docking test and you can see the docking mechanism. Um, yeah, there it goes. This is the EMI test. Uh, I see an antenna going around and basically measuring the emissions. Uh, this is a Harvard test that's been a while ago, uh, exercising the Super Dracos that are also a large escape system. Uh, that's the nose cone deploy test. It's fast. Uh, mission control. <laughs> and here we go to the uh, human interface. This is the uh, control panels there and there are two astronauts. Um, this hit drop test with a parachute. You can see there's actually four parachutes um, as opposed to three on uh, Dragon 1. And here's the crew access arm uh, which connects the tower with the uh, Falcon line. Okay, here we go. So that's new, new Dragon, uh, crew, crew Dragon or Dragon 2. Um, it's about the same size, 20, 27 feet tall, and uh, has room for seven, seven astronauts. That's the, obviously the, the, the main difference inside. There are seats for, for astronauts. There's a live support system. Um, there's a, uh, an interface, a console, um, so that the astronauts can uh, you know, take, take over in, 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 if necessary and, uh, and perform certain functions within Dragon. Um, you can also see on the outside there's um, as a, the heat shield is between Dragon and that trunk. The trunk looks distinct now. Okay, this is the, uh, the final configuration, Dragon 2 or Crew Dragon on top of Falcon 9. You can see this is Pad 39A. We made um, respectfully a few changes on, the, on this historic uh, launch pad. Uh, you see a crew arm that basically brings the astronauts over um, and, and, and of course, you know, for the first flight, there's no astronaut, there's just uh, cargo in this case uh, being loaded. Um, and that's actually uh, taken, th those pictures have been taken at the static fire, which happened uh, roughly two weeks ago. So we, we tested that integrated uh, vehicle with Falcon 9 on the launch pad for a couple seconds uh, run up uh, just to be ready for, for a launch then by next week. And um, see if I got everything.
that's when the nine Merlin 1D engines, as you can see on your screen right now, uh, will cut off uh, shortly before a stage separation at 2 minutes and 38 seconds. Shortly after that, the Merlin vacuum engine on the bottom of the second stage of the Falcon 9 will ignite in what we call second engine start, or SDS. That will be at 2 minutes and 46 seconds. So stand by for main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start coming up in just about 20 seconds from now.
station on an American vehicle as well. You know, uh, Soyuz is a good vehicle, but um, but it'd be good if if, if uh, you know there were also um, commercial uh, trips on on an American vehicle as well. Um, and that's uh, so I think that's one of the things uh, that that we'll will do. Um, and um, and obviously NASA is very supportive of that. Um, and um, yeah, so. And then you know, maybe there's something beyond uh, beyond beyond the space station. But we'll we'll see. We're gonna focus on the getting this this right for sure. That's the priority. Uh, but then after that, maybe something beyond beyond Earth orbit.